Have you ever pondered the significance of DDoS protection in today's digital world? In an era where data is the new gold, distributed denial of service or DDoS attacks pose a significant threat to businesses large and small. Imagine a swarm of requests inundating your website or application, rendering it inaccessible to your legitimate users. The damage, lost revenues, tarnished reputation, and a possible data breach. The need for robust DDoS protection is more critical than ever. It's not just about deflecting these digital onslaughts, but about having a comprehensive strategy in place. This strategy must encompass early detection, swift mitigation, and ongoing monitoring to ensure your online presence remains unhampered. In the face of such threats, you need a shield, a guardian that stands between your precious digital assets and the relentless waves of DDoS attacks. But how can AWS Shield assist in this critical task? Let's dive deeper. Welcome to the world of AWS Shield, a managed DDoS protection service. This is your go-to solution for safeguarding your applications on Amazon Web Services from the disruptive and potentially devastating distributed denial of service attacks. AWS Shield comes in two flavors, Standard and Advanced. AWS Shield Standard is automatically included with your AWS services at no extra cost. It provides a basic level of DDoS protection for all your AWS applications, helping to shield them from the most common types of DDoS attacks. For those requiring a more comprehensive security solution, AWS Shield Advanced is the perfect choice. It offers all the benefits of the standard tier, plus advanced DDoS protection features, cost protection for scaling, and access to the AWS DDoS response team. These features provide robust security, cost-effective scaling, and expert support, ensuring your applications remain available and performant under any circumstances. Now, are you ready to configure AWS Shield for optimal protection? Follow along. Setting up AWS Shield is a straightforward process. Let's dive into it, shall we? To get things rolling, you'll first need to navigate to the AWS Management Console. Once there, you'll find a myriad of services at your disposal. However, we're interested in one particular service today, AWS Shield. AWS Shield comes in two flavors, Standard and Advanced. AWS Shield Standard is automatically available to all AWS customers at no additional cost. It provides protection for all applications running on AWS against most common, frequently observed DDoS attacks. To enable AWS Shield Standard, there's nothing you need to do. That's right. It's automatically activated for your AWS services. As soon as your application is up and running on AWS, it is protected by AWS Shield Standard. But what if you need more? That's where AWS Shield Advanced comes into play. It's a subscription-based service that provides cost protection, DDoS cost protection, advanced threat intelligence, and 24 7 DDoS response team, DRT access. To activate AWS Shield Advanced, head over to the AWS Shield console. Once there, you can select the resources you want to protect. After you've done that, click on Subscribe to AWS Shield Advanced. Next, you'll review your subscription details and then click Subscribe. Remember, the subscription to AWS Shield Advanced is a one-year commitment, so make sure you're ready to commit before you click that subscribe button. It's also important to note that AWS Shield Advanced comes with a cost, so keep an eye on your budget. Once you've subscribed, AWS Shield Advanced is activated for the resources you've chosen. From this moment on, you're protected against larger and more sophisticated DDoS attacks, and you have access to the AWS DDoS response team and advanced threat intelligence. And there you have it. You've now navigated the process of activating AWS Shield Standard and AWS Shield Advanced. It's a crucial step in your journey of securing your applications against DDoS attacks. Congratulations, you've activated AWS Shield, but what's next? Well, stay tuned because we're just getting started. A key component of AWS Shield Advanced is the AWS Web Application Firewall, or WF. AWS WIAF is an instrumental part of your defense strategy, designed to protect your applications from common web exploits, and the beauty of it lies in its customizability. You can create your own set of rules tailored to your specific needs. Let's dive into how you can set up and configure AWS WIAF. First up, we need to create a Web ACL, which is essentially a container for your rules. It's the Web ACL that gets associated with a resource, so head over to the AWS WayF dashboard and click on Create Web ACL. Fill in the necessary details like the name, region, and associated resource. Now that we have our Web ACL, it's time to add some rules. Rules are the heart of AWS WAF. 
They define what kind of traffic should be allowed, blocked, or counted. Click on Add Rules and select the type of rule you want to create. You can choose from pre-configured AWS managed rules or create your own custom rules. Custom rules are where your specific requirements come into play. You can use them to block IP addresses, block SQL injection attempts, or even to mitigate XSS attacks. It's all about understanding what your application needs and implementing those requirements in your rules. Once you've created your rules, add them to the rule group. A rule group is simply a collection of rules. You can have multiple rule groups in a web ACL, allowing you to organize your rules based on their function or the type of exploit they protect against. Finally, after you've set up your rules and rule groups, it's time to associate the web ACL with your AWS resources. You can associate it with a CloudFront distribution, an application load balancer, or an Amazon API gateway. This essentially applies all the rules in the web ACL to the associated resource, adding an extra layer of security. You've successfully configured AWS WAF, but we're not done yet. We still have to fine-tune AWS Shield and delve into best practices and common pitfalls. So stay tuned. Fine-tuning AWS Shield is crucial for optimal protection. Let's delve into the specifics of how you can adjust your AWS Shield to match your unique set of requirements. The beauty of AWS Shield is its flexibility. Your protection needs to adapt to your traffic patterns and threat landscape, and AWS Shield allows you to do just that. Regularly reviewing and adjusting your settings in line with your traffic trends can make a world of difference in your defense against DDoS attacks. This continuous process of fine-tuning ensures that your defenses are always in sync with the evolving threat landscape. Now let's take a look at how to configure cost protection. Cost protection is a feature that covers extra costs incurred due to a DDoS attack. To set it up, you'll need to define your regular traffic levels. AWS will then use this information to identify any abnormal increase in data transfer, which often signals a DDoS attack. Once a potential attack is detected, AWS starts absorbing the extra costs, ensuring that you don't have to bear the financial brunt of a DDoS attack. Next, we move on to fine-tuning DDoS protection. AWS Shield provides a range of customizable options, including the ability to set thresholds for different types of traffic. This allows you to maintain a balance between blocking malicious traffic and allowing legitimate traffic to reach your applications. Lastly, let's discuss threat intelligence. AWS Shield integrates with AWS Guard Duty, a threat detection service that continuously monitors for malicious activity. By fine-tuning the integration between AWS Shield and Guard Duty, you can ensure that you're not just reacting to threats but proactively identifying and mitigating potential risks. Remember, fine-tuning is not a one-time process. It's a continuous cycle of assessing, adjusting, and reassessing, which helps keep your defenses robust and dynamic. With these settings, AWS Shield is now tailored to your needs. You're now one step closer to achieving a more secure and resilient infrastructure on AWS. There are best practices to follow and common pitfalls to avoid when using AWS Shield. One of the most important practices is to regularly review and update your configurations. AWS Shield is not a set-it-and-forget-it service. It requires constant vigilance and adjustments to meet the evolving threat landscape. This means continually tweaking your web application firewall rules, adjusting rate-based rules, and refining IP lists. By doing so, you can ensure that your defenses are up-to-date and capable of thwarting the latest DDoS attack strategies. On the flip side, one of the most common pitfalls is neglecting to monitor AWS Shield metrics. These metrics provide valuable insights into the performance and effectiveness of your DDoS protection measures. They can help you identify potential vulnerabilities and areas for improvement. Ignoring these metrics is akin to flying blind, leaving your applications and data exposed to potential attacks. Another common pitfall is underestimating the complexity of AWS Shield. While it's a powerful tool in the right hands, it can be overwhelming for beginners. It's easy to get lost in the myriad of features and settings. Therefore, it's crucial to take the time to understand each feature and how it contributes to your overall DDoS protection strategy. Lastly, don't forget to consider the cost implications. While AWS Shield offers robust protection, it also comes at a price. Ensure you are getting the most out of your investment by continually optimizing your configurations and monitoring performance. 
By avoiding these pitfalls and following best practices, you can maximize the effectiveness of AWS Shield. We've covered a lot of ground today. From the critical need for DDoS protection to the comprehensive capabilities of AWS Shield, We've walked through the setup process and delved into the specifics of configuring AWS Web Application Firewall. We've also honed in on fine-tuning AWS Shield and discussed best practices along with some common pitfalls to avoid. With AWS Shield, you're now equipped to protect your digital assets against DDoS attacks. Until next time, stay shielded.